So I finally got Teddy back to the agility area at the dog park. And I've been really off of my routines with everything that we went through between the cats and losing Ellie and so unexpectedly. I just really completely fell off. And I've been doing some stuff with them around the house. And I have some agility and stuff in my backyard that we we use a lot. And I've been doing some stuff up at the property as we've been working on up there and stuff. But they I like to bring them to the agility area, though, too, for kind of like a, a change of pace. And it's a little bit better quality stuff, um, which is important because I've got Teddy's got a really long way to go on his directionals and his obedience and stuff or and, and his agility. Um, and it there's a lot of distractions and stuff here, too. There's a lot of different smells, a lot of different things going on. And so I, I generally try to go early because I just want to be able to focus on just like me and him. And especially now when it's been so long since I've been there. And part of the reason that it's been so long is that there's somebody that just, even though like the rule specifically states, do not just sit here with your dog. There's somebody who sits here with their dog like every morning from like eight to nine o'clock or so. And he just sits in the agility area and he has his two dogs just running free in the agility area. And they seem to be very reactive and stuff. So anytime I've gone anywhere near the agility, anywhere near up there, whether or not I'm anywhere close to the agility area, they're always barking and going crazy at, at my dogs and stuff. So it's just better not to take the chance. So I usually just turn away and, and don't do it if um he's just parked his butt in there. But um but we got up early, we beat we beat everybody there, and so I thought we'd be able to have a good session. It's a public area, so there's people that come in and out. And I was hoping because I was I was at like seven o'clock in the morning that I'd be okay and I'd be fr- and we'd I'd be able to work on things because it had been it also had been a long time here since he's had a good session like this. But then shortly afterwards, somebody else came in and they just went into the other area, which was fine. But their dog kept barking and he had a toy and he kept being like at the gate and just trying to tempt t- Teddy into going and playing with him and not um, actually um, working. So what you're going to see in these videos are just Teddy is just super, super distracted. He's things that he normally does relatively well. He's really having a really hard time. And you'll see me just trying to help him through through a lot of this. I have to lower my expectations really, really majorly when this kind of stuff is going on because it just, you, you can't, he, he's not going to be at the same level. It's, he's got everything against him right now. It's, he's got this dog taunting him every so often. Um, He's got, it, it, and it's been a while since I've done this with him and stuff. So it's just, it, so this session with him is just not going to be clean at all. And I think that's something that, people should show too. Like, I, I, I mean, I'm guilty of it too. It's like, you want to show all your successes and how wonderful these dogs are because they are truly amazing. But to get to that truly amazing dog, it takes a lot of bad days like this where you just, and I don't really consider this a bad day. I think for the most part, he was, I had to keep put, pushing him hard to stay on track, but I, and I lowered my expectations and stuff. But I mean, at the end of the day, he, for the most part, we had like one episode where he kind of went off and started barking at the other dog. but. For the most part, he stayed f- relatively on track, even though he was very, very distracted. And if, when I just kept working him through it, he man- he managed to do pretty much what I asked him to do. It just took a- more tries than normal. But, you know, we rewarded pretty heavily. We made I made sure that he understood that, like, hey, this is what I want. Um, and he worked through it. So in, that's something that he's going to have to ha- he's going to have to be able to do later on in his career if I ever get him into USAR again. He's going to have to be able to just not pay attention to what's going on around him. So this is, like, even though this is ugly and this is pr- not pretty, it's actually really, really important training that he was having this day. Up, 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 up. Brain, where's my brain? Hop, 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 hop. Hop, 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 hop. Hop, That's not how we do that one either, buddy. Hop. Come on, hop. Good boy, yo. Go back and up. Go back and up. Buddy, go back and up. Hop. Hop. Go back and up. Hop. Go back and up. Hop. Yes, there we go. That's what I wanted, bud. Good job, bud. Good. Watch my fingers. Come here, yo. Come here. Brain, brain. 
I need your brain. I need you with the brain. Come on, go up. No, that's not what to do. There we go, good boy. Let's try it again. Hop. Good. Can we get a hop from a distance? Okay, you ready? Go hop. There we go, good boy. You ready? Come here, heel position, please. Heel. Good boy. Hey. No, stop. Come here. Sit. Sit. Oh, on it. Well, that was a hop. That wasn't an on it. Come on, on it. There you go. Good boy. Good. Down. Wait. Here. Sit. Yes. Good boy. Go back. Go back. No. No. Come here. Over. Good. Back. What's a back, buddy? Go back. Go back. Tunnel. Go back and tunnel. Go back and tunnel. Back. Go tunnel. Yes. Good boy. Good secret of you, huh? Is that the secret of you? I have to tell you the object. Teddy. Go back and tunnel. Go back and tunnel. Go back and tunnel, bud. No, no, no. Yes, we did that before. Go back and tunnel now. Go back and tunnel. No, go on. Go back and tunnel. Go back and tunnel, bud. There you go. Good boy. Yes, come on. Where's your brain? Where's your brain? On it. Down. Good. Here we go. Come here. No. Come here. Come here. Hey. Come here. Ready? Come here. Crawl. 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 There we go. Good job, girl. Ready? Ready? No, on it, go, go buddy, on it. No, good boy, yes. Yes, good, down. Good job, bud. Leave it. Good boy, here. Yes, good boy, good. Looks like the teeter broke on, was broken sometime since the last time I've been here. It's disappointing, because that's one of the obstacles that we need to do for you, sir. On it, on it, bud, on it. Get on it, please. Come on. No, that's not what we do. On it. Come on, on it. Good. Turn. Yes, good boy. Good job. On it. Stop. Turn. No, that's not what I'm asking. On it. On it, bud. Brain, where's your brain? Stop, turn. Sort of. On it. On it, please. No, come on. On it. Good. All the way. Go back. All the way. No, I don't want you jumping off of it, bud. Come on. Come on, bud. Good. That was better. On it. Let's go on it. Let's go on it, buddy. Slow and easy. No, that's not how we do that. Come here. Teddy, no, no. Come, 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 come. Teddy, come here. Come here, Teddy. Boop, 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 boop. Good boy. Come here. On it. On it. Down. Down. Ready? Go back and hop. Go back and hop. Go back and hop. Come on. You can do it. Do you remember what that is? Go back, hop. Yes, go back and hop. Go back and hop. Go back and hop. Yes, there it is, good boy, good. Hey, you ready? Come here, Bit squeak. 
Pay attention to mommy. Come here. Hop. Hop. Come here. Hop. Good. All right, let's do this. On it. Come on. On it. All right, Bob. Pop up. No. Come here. Yes. Come on. On it. Stop. Turn. Turn. Good. There it is. Good boy. Go tunnel. Go tunnel. Go tunnel, buddy. Go tunnel. Go tunnel. Tunnel, bud. Come on. Let's go. Go tunnel. Go tunnel. Good boy. Come here. You ready? Come here. Sit. Sit. Come on. Am I losing your brain? Sit. Go tunnel. All right, I think he's reached his max today. Go tunnel, buddy. Go, no, go tunnel. Good boy. Wasn't the greatest today, but at least it was, at least we got out here. There's a lot that's been happening that happened in the last couple months here with Luz and Ellie and it's really shaking up all the dogs and stuff. Um, so it wasn't, I mean, he was distracted, but I, I was hoping for a nice clean session with him this morning, just me and him, but it didn't quite work out that way with all the other dogs that kept going into the other, other rings. And it's, and it's fine. I mean, he needs to learn to work through it. We had a couple episodes where he kind of took off and started barking with them and because they kept barking at him, trying to get him to, to go play through the fence and stuff with him. And, um, but for the most part, he stayed he stayed on track. And I mean, it wasn't great, but we can clean it up. There's a, a lot that we have to do. I tried to kind of lower my expectations today. I was taking things that I normally wouldn't because it's been a while since I've done him on any of this stuff. And um, and there was a lot of distractions on him and he's not always the best at distractions. So it wasn't quite what I wanted today, but I think it was a good, a good workout for him, um, at, least men at least mentally, like working through a lot of that. And and learning that I have the rewards and stuff. So, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't as quite as good. And I figured, I mean, I wanted to start showing that this is, this is kind of what it takes to train these dogs. It's not, it's not like, oh, they're just boom one day. Perfect. It's, you have to work through all of these various problems over and over and over again and give them the information about like, this is what I want. This is what I don't want. And I have to keep associating things. Like I know I repeated myself a lot today, which I shouldn't have done, but for him, it kind of helps him sometimes so I kind of have to weigh like each dog is an individual a lot of times I just I, I want to just have the command once I don't want to have to keep saying it over and over and over again um but he's not at a point that he he understands he knows what I, that I, like that's like he knows to do that object right like he knows to like go do the jump or to go do the tunnel he doesn't 100 percent have word association yet so by what I'm trying to do with it is by like repeating myself, it's like, okay, this is what I want. And then like when he does it, like, okay, yeah, he starts connecting the word with, with that. That's honestly one of the things I'm trying to work on with him right now. Um, and the working through the distractions today w was really good too, because that, that, that's a very hard thing. Like, I mean, he's got a dog in the next ring, like just a, like an open fence away, like, right. It's like a chain link fence away. That dog's barking at him, playing, having a grand old time. And I'm asking him to work, work instead. So that's not the easiest thing for a dog to do. Um, and especially him, he's got, he's got a lot of, he sometimes gets very distracted. Um, so I think for the most part, he did okay. He wasn't quite like as engaged as I wanted him to be, but we, we kind of built up, built, built it up a little bit. And then there's a thing with him where he just like literally turns off and um, like usually about a half hour or so. And when I see that in him, it's like, okay, it's really time to kind of wind down and, and go home because I'm not going to get much productive done with him at that point. I'm hoping as we keep working that I can get him through it. But for right now, and today was not the day to push that. It's their first day back at the agility area after quite a, quite a while, after a really rough spell here. So anyway, so I'm going to get Indy out. I brought both of them this morning because it's Indy's day. We kind of do a walk jog thing, um, depending on how I'm feeling and stuff. But I need to keep the, the, these dogs also need a lot of fitness and stuff too. So it's, and I need, and I need to get healthy again. So, so that I could get back to everything that I'm, that I want to do. So, um, we're doing some walking and jogging and I just, I alternate which dog, which day. So Teddy had a pretty good workout in the agility area. Today's Indy's day for a jog. And I don't usually do too much with Indy in the agility area anymore. She's a lot older. Um, and 
Teddy, I'm hoping to someday get back into you start with. Indy is, do is done with her use worker. She's really focused on wilderness. So the things that are important for her are very different. It's like, it's not important for her to do agility anymore at this point in her life. What's important for her is just to keep active and, and healthy and be able to be the best like wilderness dog that she can be at this point in her life. So that's kind of where we're at. So I'm going to go get Indy out here now. And, um, and I, I love this park. It's just, it's just a fantastic place. We do our, we come here we do our walk jogs, um, and we do our agility and stuff here. I'm going to do some obedience sometimes if I need to get them out from the house and stuff. It's just a really great place to work. It's by the river and stuff, so it's just it's just pretty and nice. And first thing in the morning isn't too bad, and it gets us up and out and gets us going on stuff. So, so all right, time for a jog or walk, whatever I feel like today when I get going.